I'm here at Golden Mount Food Centre today, one of my favourite food centres in search of the best Hokkien mee in Singapore. And today we are here for some fried Hokkien prawn mee. That's right, I said some, because the more informed lot of you will know that there are two very famous Hokkien mee's in this food centre. We start off with Hainan fried Hokkien prawn mee, yet another OG in the scene. The immediately curious thing to me is the stall name. For those who don't know, Hainanese and Hokkien are two dialects, representing people from the Hainan and Fujian province respectively. Putting Hainan in front of Hokkien mee is kind of like saying American pasta or Indian sushi. Okay, not exactly, but you get the point. No matter, authenticity is academic. Two plate episode special. Let's get it, boys. Hello, uh, one food. Ah, one Pretty little at $5. Very little noodles and quite a lot of ingredients. Or is it the noodles making the ingredients look like it's a lot? <laughs> and we are dealing with a dry version today. There's a lot of burnt beets. I got a good feeling. Anyway, let's get it. Wow, we are in the big leagues now. The flavor is spot on. The punchiness actually reminds me of Xiao Di. Not so overbearing, not so over the brim. It's exactly the right amount of flavor that you want. From the seafood, from the egg, and also a significant amount of smokiness. Even looking at the noodles, you can tell like there are a considerable amount of black beads everywhere. All that flavor is packed into the noodles so well. And while this seems like a dry version, I now hesitate to call it that after Simon wrote, this is more of a less wet version. What I'm impressed with is how they squeezed all that flavor in. You normally don't get this level of flavor from a less wet version like this. So far, the more punchy Hokkien mee's have come from the wet versions. Obviously because there's more broth, but this has far outdone the previous less wet versions like from Aho or Nam Sing. The bihun still has a good amount of bite to it, Normally with such Hokkien mee, when you cook it like this, right, it's very easy to overcook the bihun such that the starch in the noodles start to gelatinize and then you end up with a messy, gooey, sticky mess. But here, even after I'm done, the whole plate is very clean. There's more oil left than anything. And even then, it's not mu that much oil. And the last thing that I like is the chili. The chili is different. I don't think I've tasted such a chili before. Not in Hokkien mee at least. I taste a bit of Sao Xing wine, a bit of Tou Ban Jiang. Definitely their in-house made chili. Wait, Chinese. Sao Xing wine, a Chinese cooking wine, and Tou Ban Jiang, which is fermented bean paste. This might be the best, less wet version thus far. And now for the missus. The amount's still little. It's the same thing like Xiao Ti, but this is even more expensive than Xiao Ti. I don't mind paying more, but <laughs> this is nowhere a meal. This is the amount of noodles I would get at a business seminar <laughs> where they have like catering outside and then you're too shy to eat or you just don't want to be eating that much. This is too little. I was noting the time on my camera in real time. I took like three minutes to finish this. Also, another small thing, the prawns are the smallest <laughs> prawns I've ever seen. I did say that I'm not a prawn counter, but seeing such a small prawn is very comical. Nevertheless, still a very good plate. And now for round two. Next, we are moving on to Yofu Fried Hokkien Mee. I'm really excited for this one. Yofu is perhaps one of the most recommended places that I have gathered from you guys. And unlike me, Yofu has got the cloud. I'm talking every single notable local food blog, CNN, Erwan, The Late Food King, and the hawker set up shop three years ago when he was 21. 21! What was I doing at 21? <laughs> Touted as one of the best Hokkien Mee's on the island in his 20s, with only three years of experience, this might be the closest thing to a hawker prodigy if there's such a thing. Anyway, let's get it. We're dealing with a wet version today. A very interesting chili. There's some sort of body to the chili. I wonder what that is. Let's give it a go. No. <laughs> Oh, 
we are really in the big leagues now. <laughs> The first thing that hits is that sweet seafood flavor. Really well seasoned, really fragrant. And the umami is so nice. The seafood flavor is so nice that I feel like this is a... This is a really good buy me fern that kind of happens to taste like Hokkien Mee. I know that sounded like a backhanded compliment. And maybe it is, but it's how I feel. There is the traditional taste of Hokkien Mee that you remember growing up here. And this is not the original taste. It's still delicious, but not the original taste. I particularly like the chili. This chili gives me the feeling that it is made specifically for this dish. Because if you eat the chilies at East, right, it's okay. It kind of tastes like it came from a, a nasi ayam pangang store. But when you eat it with the noodles, both the noodles and the chili taste way better. As for the misses, I don't really have one. Maybe it tastes a little too far from a Hokkien Mee. It really tastes more like a seafood bee hoon than a Hokkien Mee. But and it is like a little bit too academic, a little bit too rule book. We're not holding a Hokkien Mee competition here. But other than that, I really cannot find a miss. Really delicious. So let's digest for a little while and I'll see you guys soon. Recap. Hainan Fried Hokkien Mee. Really nice less wet version. I don't know, after Simon wrote right, I feel like I have to redefine. There's the dry version, like Simon wrote. There's the less wet version, like Hainan Fried Hokkien Mee. And there's the usual wet version, like um, Yofu. There's actually three kinds. Or maybe there are two kinds and Simon Rhodes one is a one-off. Wait, I digress. Very, very delicious. You get so much flavor, you get wok hay, you get a nice chili, good texture. Only thing is, the quantity is kind of little. And some people misunderstood me in the Celtic episode. I'm not saying that $5 Hokkien Mee is expensive or not worth. I just want the plate that I ordered, regardless of the cost, to at least kind of fill me up as a meal. There really is very little point in serving so little because a chef's duty is to feed people before it is to impress people. Again, like I mentioned, I don't know how all this works out in the business sense. Maybe it's more profitable to go with the $5 plates. But personally, I'll definitely like to be fed. One noodle, I'll walk for the Hokkien Mee. Two noodles, I'll take a bus for the Hokkien Mee. And three noodles, I'll go anywhere in Singapore for the Hokkien Mee. And Hainan Fried Hokkien Mee is... Three noodles. Very delicious. It hits all the flavor points. It doesn't have a miss. To be honest, after the previous two less wet versions, I was kind of giving up on it already. I was thinking, why would you want a you know, sticky, kind of wet version that is not as flavorful when you can go for the wet version that is definitely more flavorful. But Hainan Fried Hokkien Mee showed me that it can still be flavorful. It's just a skill issue. Which brings me to Yofu. Delicious noodles. So delicious that it doesn't taste like Hokkien Mee. This is, man, I really shouldn't be saying that the Hokkien Mee that is a lot of people's favorite doesn't taste like Hokkien Mee. Okay, it still tastes like Hokkien Mee, but it really tastes more like Pai Mee Fun to me. Regardless, regardless, very delicious and very delicious chili. And this is one of the very few places that I have seen people say its standard improve over time. That is a very, very rare compliment in the food world. I guess that's the benefit of having a young chef that is very willing to experiment. Maybe by the next time I visit, their flavors will have improved again. And your full fried hawk and me gets... Three noodles. Regardless of how I feel about how much it tastes like a hawk and me, it is still very, very, very delicious. The chili complements it so well. And I got a strange feeling that it will only improve from here on out. Wow, we are giving three noodles out like for free, yeah? <laughs> I don't mind it at all, as long as I get to eat good Hokkien Mee. And Hainan Fried Hokkien Mee and Yofu are definitely great Hokkien Mee's in my book. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys this time. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!